Good morning, happy Friday. Today, happy Friday. Today is August 18th, 2023. It's rainy, gray, but we're here. We're here. And we're here to do what we do every Friday, which is bring you guys the Stats and Facts Fridays in under four minutes. Where we cover the number of new listings, sole transactions that have taken place in the Halifax Dartmouth region of Nova Scotia in the last seven days. We break down those stats further and share with you the average list prices, the average sale prices, and generally how long those houses sit on the market before they're transacted on. We then also talk a little bit more about multi-unit families. Maybe we'll start with multi-units. Switch it up, be a little crazy today. Cool. It is raining after all. Brings out the craziness in all of us. So why don't we start with multi-units where we share with you the number of new listings from last week. Multi-units we're defining as two doors or more. Uh, and the number of sold transactions, if there were any, and of the sold, what do you talk to them about, Tiff? The total, how many hit the market, price changes, but we're going to get into that right now. Oh, and I need the microphone. So for multi-units, the past seven days, there were three new multi-units that hit the market, which isn't a whole lot, but um, there were seven conditional sales this week and four sold multi-units. Average days on the market, we're sitting around 25 days uh, with an average sale of around 1,247,000. And average total sales, 5 million, around 5 million average. Yeehaw! Yeah, not bad. Thanks, Tiff. Over to you for residential. Peter Grona speaking, residential. So number of new listings that have taken place in the last seven days were 95. There were about 104 that were sold and then of those 104 basically average days on the market was 26 median days on the market was 11 the average list price for those that sold was approximately five hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars and the average sale price for those was approximately five hundred and seventy four thousand dollars so about five thousand dollars more than asking price in each of those on average yeah. total amount of money that exchange hands from a buyer to a seller was just under $60 million. Nice one. Nice one. Guys, my name is Peter Garonis, entrepreneur, licensed realtor, property manager, owner, among other things. And what we do for you is we collect information from people that are smarter than us, from some of the books and articles we read over our shoulder, from the webinars and the seminars that we attend, and we share that information with you in hopes of getting all of us somewhere along the line in an upward trajectory from where we are to where you want to be yeah but where's the where we are bro mm. yeah you, if you visual from where we are to where <laughs> you want to be <laughs>